Hi, my name is Leah Riggs, and I am half of Music in the Meadow Books on Teachers Pay Teachers. And I wanted to share with you today a story that I tell my students to help them learn how to listen or remind them to listen in my classroom. It's the story of how Timothy learned to listen. One night, Timothy Mouse was sitting in the middle of his farmhouse feeling very sorry for himself. Man, they're always making fun of me. Gosh, I just don't like it. All those brothers and sisters, man, they're always making fun of me. Telling me I don't know how to listen. Gosh. When all of a sudden, Scout, the farmhouse dog, on his nightly patrol, came wandering through the house. Timothy got up all his courage and he said, Stop! What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. It's just you, Timothy, who scared me. Oh, hi, hi, what do you need? I'm, I'm on my nightly duty. Um, well, I, I have this question. I was just wondering, uh, what are those floppy things on your head, huh? Oh, oh, they're my ears. Your leers? Well, it's not very nice to leer at people, Scout. No, no, my ears. Your peers, huh? Like your friends? No, 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 my ears. Your sneers? It's not very nice to sneer at people, Scout. No, my ears. Oh, your ears, huh. Well, what do you do with those things anyway? Oh wait, I know, I know, I know, I'm so smart. I know, I bet you um, let's see. I know dogs love to eat. I bet you eat with them. No, no, I don't eat with them. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. I know, I know, I know. I bet you smell with them. Dogs are really good smellers. That's it. That's it. No, no, no. I don't smell with my ears. Well, what do you do with them then? I listen. You're snissing? Oh, bless you, Scout. No, 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 I listen. You're kissing with your ears? Ew, blech, blech, blech. I ain't kissing nothing for no one. I listen with my ears. Oh, hmm. hey, wait a minute. Everybody's always telling me I'm not a good listener. How do I get me some of those? Do I go to the ear store? No. Why don't you try listening very carefully? I gotta go, I'm, I'm, I'm on patrol. Okay, bye Scout. And off Scout went, and Timothy sat in the middle of his farmhouse and started listening for all the very loud things because that's all he could really hear at first. And as he sat there, he heard maybe a really loud tractor outside and, and maybe some thunder that was really loud. And as he, sat, as he listened, he could almost start to hear the medium loud things. And then the quieter things like the wind or the creaking. And all of a sudden, one day, Timothy t started to feel like his hat was getting really tight. And he took off his hat and he had grown the most beautiful pair of ears to listen with. And that's the story of how Timothy Mouse got his ears. The end. I tell that story at the very beginning of the year. And then the children and I go on a listening walk. And we chart all the things that we heard in outside in the environment. And as the year goes on, Timothy is our listening mascot. And he will come and introduce new instruments or new, just new various sounds or songs even sometimes. Um, so yeah, my little listening mascot, Timothy, is a really good tool. Um, he always reminds the children that it's time to listen. Hope you enjoyed that.